In this week's parasha, we are told of two separate Isurim, two prohibitions, which are very similar. The Issa of Oynas Momen, of hurting someone financially, and the Issa of Oynas Dvarim, of hurting somebody with words. What's interesting to note is the way the Torah describes each of them in a totally different way. The way the Torah describes Oynas Momen, Al Toynu Ish Es Ochiv, don't oppress your brother. But yet when the Torah describes the Issa of Oynas Dvarim, of hurting somebody with words, it says and describes it as Ami secha, don't do it to your fellow. Asks Rabbi Gamir Rabinovich Lita, what's the difference? Why by one of them is the description as a Chicha, your brother, and the other one is Ami secha, your fellow Jew? And the answer says Rabbi Gamir is as follows. When it comes to money, people find so many ways to cheat other people. They find ways to get money that doesn't belong to them but they have every excuse in the book. He doesn't need it. He doesn't deserve it. The Torah wants you to look at everyone as if he's your brother. If this would be your brother, would you do this? No. So don't do it to anybody else. That's why the Torah describes the Issa Bainas mom and hurting someone financially as a your brother. Look at every Jew as your brother. Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky was a Rav in Lithuania. And one of his, Ms. Butler, one of his congregants came to him. He was in the post office and he received extra money, money that he shouldn't have got. What should he do with it? And Rabbi Yaakov replied, of course, return it to the post office. So he came back and gave, it, gave the money back. A few weeks later, Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky himself was in the same post office. And when he ordered stamps, he got more stamps than he actually paid for. And he immediately said, you gave me extra, let me give them back to you. And he saw a smile from the person sitting on the other side of the counter and he realized that it was a setup. That the person was setting up the rabbi to see was he actually following through with that which he also advised the congregants. Years later, Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky met somebody that was from that town that he was the Rav. It was a time when the war had already started and Rabbi Yaakov asked him, how was it? What happened? Rabbi Yaakov had left years before and the Yid told him the following. He said there was one guy in the town who was willing to put his life at risk in order to go and save Jews and hide them in his house. And that was this clerk, this person that worked in the post office. When he saw the honesty of a Jew, that he was willing to give back that which didn't belong to him, and he didn't want to take that which wasn't rightfully his, he decided this is a nation that he has to save, that he has to help. Honesty is such an important mida that it can save lives. The Torah wants us to look at every single Yid as they are our brother. Don't do to someone what you wouldn't do to your own brother. Have a wonderful Shabbos.